Welcome to the demonstration on how to do the calculation for a KIDOT guardrail. First we will input the project number. Next the designer. Followed by the center line station of concern. This is just a station relative to your guardrail. Roadside design guide gear. Design speed. Your AADT. Select whether it's two lane or four lane. Type of guardrail system. Your LC. your L2 adjacent and your L2 opposing. Select calculate. Next we'll look up your found values. Your L1 is a constant. L, R, L, S and flare rates are all lookups and then it calculates your length of need. The MGS system has a flare rate override and you have an opposing same thing lookup values and a calculated length of need. To demonstrate you can change your MGS flare rate override. That can be different for your opposing and for your adjacent. I'm using 15. I'm going to change this rate to 50. Demonstrate the how to use the CAD in another video. Your output is using your, your values. Notice that you have a 50 to 1 and a 15 to 1 for your input and your calculated output. You save your text file. The text file, the top part is your inputted values, next is your calculated length of need, and exit, entrance and exit. Next is the calculations shown on your form, lookup tables and such, opposing and adjacent. Next is the calculated length of need again, and now we're showing the tangent line length and how we calculated it. Opposing and adjacent. Next is your pay length for your adjacent and your opposing. On the standard drawings tab it's all your road standards that have guardrail related items. view the standard right from the application. Roadside design guide has tables for the shy line, run out, and flare rates. These are all based on your design guide year. And table 3.1 and your Ashto website. KDOT Road intranet page. This links to your manual and your guidelines and policies and other useful information.